Okay, Abraham's just run through how to put the bait onto the rig. Uh, now I'm just going to run through how to tie the rig up really quickly because we've got to get going. Basically, I start off with the ESP stiff link, as you can see. You see that there? With the hoop on the end, very small. Um, and then I have a little bit of silicon, as you can see there, a tiny bit of silicon on the table. What I do, put that on my mouth just to lubricate it and I get the line and pass it through the silicon and you see how quick that was once you lubricated it, it makes things so much easier and then with the Corda wide gape, the size 8 you have the hook upside down and then as, as it's already lubricated just be very careful passing the shank of the hook through the silicon be careful not to nick the silicon because it will rip. Be careful with the barb as well. And slowly slide it on, as you can see. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. And now, now you can have the hair as long as you want. So you can have it if you're fishing for catfish, whatever. Obviously not this size of hook, you wouldn't, but just an easy rig to fish with any fish with. To fish for any fish with, sorry. Um, yeah, so basically like that. And then you pass the line through the back of the hook. I tie this different to some people. Some people tie it. I just find it's different to me, sorry. I just find it easier like this way. And then you can just have the hook, have the line resting on the side of the hook and hold it in place, as you can see, like that. And then pass it round. I pass it round seven times. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven times, and then hold, hold the end, hold the seventh loop, and pass through the hook, like so. Grab the other end, lubricate it, and pull it down, pull it down really tight, really tight like so. So you've got. So basically, you, you could just use that as a rig. It wouldn't be as, as effective. But as a simple, simple rig, you could just use it like that. The next thing I use is the is the uh, safe zone shrink tube. Basically, sorry about that. Um, I've cut a bit of shrink tube off off of the pack it comes in. Oh, messy pack there. Uh, the safe zone shrink tube from Corda. So then this this time you slide it up. It's a lot bigger hole this time, so you won't have to worry about lubricating it. Slide it up and position it in the place you want you want it to be positioned. I like it not so far up the shank, but just like that, as you can see. And then you might think, oh, how's that going to work? Well, basically, you go. Everyone's got a kettle, right? So you go down to the kettle and just steam it. So when the kettle beeps, that's that's all you do. So you can just shape it up like like so. Can you see that? Alright, so you want to go down to the kettle? Yeah, we'll just do that in a minute. Alright, so we'll do that and then we'll just position the other side of the rig. And then i use these next. Sinker. That's the sinkers from Corda. This just, I think this is the most effective part of this rig basically. Well, not as most effective as the hook, but it just helps everything to be pinned down to the, to the bottom of the lake. Some carp are very cute and they'll spook off of anything they see. So, yeah. And so it's like, Everything of this rig is completely the opposite to what most people do. Some most people won't even put half of the stuff I've just put on this hook. They'll just fish a plain hook out in the thing and expect to catch a cop. It doesn't work like that. And same for the bait, really. You've, we've used the dumbbell mainline, um, mainline dumbbell, the fusion one, um, and a bit of sweet corn. I don't really. I do like using boilies, mainline mainline cell most of the time but I will never use an actual boilie on the hair rig it has to be chopped down into pieces because um, they see the carp see a boilie in my, in my, um, in my thoughts carp see a boilie every day of their life so make it a bit different and then I slide that on there to the middle or whatever end you, you prefer it and practically that's like, that is like another another um, helpful bit of end tackle to get the hook into the bottom lip. I'm actually run out of sinkers, I might have to go back and get some today at the end of the session. And then 
that's it, that's that basically. And then what I'll do is I'll get a swivel. Oh, like so. Put that on there like that. And then just tie a simple seven turn blood knot. Pass it back through the hoop. Like so. Hoop get the knot so it goes proper down tight. It's a good thing about this stiff rig as well. It doesn't stretch, so you feel everything. Yeah, it's good. So that's it, that's, that's the rig basically. And just cut the tag ends off. Put that there. And that's it. So now we're going to go down to the kitchen and sink the shrink tube. Alright. Alright, so this is the rig. It's just a simple hair rig. But everything that Mitchell went through is used on it. We're just steaming the kettle right now so that we can just show you the next, the next phase to this hair rig. Okay. Alright, basically the reason why I've used a, a swivel is because you can use link loops and all that but the reason why I've used a swivel is because I find that a swivel also pins everything to the ground not only that I can put it to a quick, uh, quick link so the quick link it allows me so I can make hundreds of these rigs up all with baits on so in a session I won't have to worry about putting a bait on I can just take that off as soon as I've got a cart take that off put a new one fresh rig on cast that back out and I've got another live rig in the lake that's it Okay. Right, so basically, just steaming the rig. Just pull it tight. Oh, it's got my hand there. So as you can see, just leave that to leave that to dry position. Better. What I like to do is just hold it because it it doesn't stay hot for long and just put it in position. As you can see, that's a perfect rig to be used. And another handy bit of kit as well are these forceps. Basically, they're not used for this sort of stuff I'm doing at the moment. These are actually used for getting carps. These are actually used for pike, but if you're really struggling to get a hook out of a carp's mouth, these are so useful. All you have to do is just put the hook in between the deep bit at the end and then just twist it and the hook pops out so much easier and also it's so good for shrinking shrink tube as well on your rigs yeah cheers